the 14th Congress of the Philippines Filipino, Ikalabina Pat na Congreso ng Pilipinas was the national legislature of the Republic of the Philippines, composed of the Philippine Senate and House of Representatives. The convening of the 14th Congress followed the 2007 general elections, which replaced half of the Senate membership, and the entire membership of the House of Representatives. It celebrated the centennial year of the Philippine legislature. The Congress's tenure ended with the 2010 general elections. Events Batasang Pambansa bombing On the evening of November 17, 2007, an explosion at the south wing of the Batasang Pambansa complex killed six people, including Rep. Wahab Akbar, Lakas CMD, Lone District, Basilan. The other fatalities included an aide of Akbar, a driver of Gabriela Rep. Luzbaminda Iligan, and three aides of Rep. Pride Henry Teves, Lacas CMD, 3rd District Negros Oriental. Ten others were injured in the blast, including Reps. Iligan and Teves. Arroyo Impeachment on October 5, 2007, lawyer Robert Pulido filed a three-page impeachment complaint against President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. This complaint was considered as a ploy by Malacañang according to the opposition. It was only supported by Rep. Edgar S. San Luis, Independent, 4th District Laguna. On November 4, the House Committee on Justice, dominated by pro-Arroyo lawmakers, declared as sufficient in form. The three-page impeachment complaint against President Arroyo. On November 6, the committee then deliberated whether the complaint, due to the national broadband network controversy, is sufficient in substance. If the complaint was declared sufficient in form, it would be considered as an impeachment proceeding. Only one impeachment proceeding is allowed by the Constitution. If the committee declares the complaint insufficient in substance, it would give Arroyo an immunity from impeachment for a year. The committee ultimately voted to trash the complaint, with minority members boycotting the hearing. Bribery scandal investigation On November 13, 2007, there was also the Senate's hearing on the bribery scandal that occurred in the Presidential Palace. The Manila Peninsula Rebellion the Manila Peninsula Rebellion occurred in the Philippines on November 29, 2007. Detained Senator Antonio Trillanes IV, General Lim and other Magdalo, mutineers, officials walked out of their trial and marched through the streets of Makati City, calling for the ouster of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and seizing the second floor of the Peninsula Manila Hotel along Ayala Avenue. Former Vice President Teofisto Guingona also joined the march to the hotel. Senator Antonio Trillanes IV and Brigadier General Danilo Lim surrendered to authorities after an armored personnel carrier rammed into the lobby of the hotel. Director Giri Barrios declared that the standoff at the Manila Peninsula Hotel is over as Senator Antonio Trillanes IV, Brig. General Danilo Lim along with other junior officers agreed to leave the hotel and surrender to Barrios after the six-hour siege. There was difficulty getting out for a while due to the tear gas that was covering the area where they were hiding. Days after the mutiny, the Makati City Regional Trial Court dismissed the rebellion charges against all 14 civilians involved in the siege, and ordered their release. National Broadband Network Scandal the Philippine National Broadband Network controversy is a political affair that centers upon allegations of corruption primarily involving former Commission on Elections Comalac, Chairman Benjamin Avalos, First Gentleman Mike Arroyo and President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo regarding the proposed government-managed National Broadband Network NBN, for the Philippines and the awarding of its construction to the Chinese firm Zhang Xing Telecommunication Equipment Company Limited ZTE, a telecommunications and network equipment provider. The issue has captivated Filipino politics since it erupted in Philippine media around August 2007, largely through the articles of newspaper columnist Jarius Bondic of the Philippine Star. It has also taken an interesting turn of events, including the resignation of Avalos as Comelec chairman, the alleged bribery of congressmen and provincial governors, dubbed as bribery in the palace. 
the unseating of Jose de Venecia Jr. as House Speaker, and the alleged kidnapping of designated National Economic and Development Authority NEDA consultant turned NBN ZTE witness Rodolfo Noel John Lozada Jr. The Spratly Islands Joint Exploration Agreement in connection to the Philippine National Broadband Network controversy, the Joint Marine Seismic Undertaking JMSU, is a tripartite agreement between the Philippines, China and Vietnam to conduct seismic exploration in an area spanning 142,886 square kilometers west of Palawan. More specifically, it is an agreement between Philippine National Oil Company Exploration Corporation PNOCEC, China National Offshore Oil Corporation CNOOC, and Vietnam Oil and Gas Corporation Petro -Vietnam, that was signed in September 2004 and took effect in July 2005. JMSU has already finished the first phase of the seismic exploration which lasted from September 1 to November 16, 2006, covering 11,000 line kilometers. A Chinese vessel conducted the survey, Vietnam processed the data gathered and this was interpreted by PNOCEC in Manila. The second phase started in October 2007, covering 11,800 line kilometers. It was supposed to end January 2008. Charter change Early in 2008, a proposal towards federalism was raised from both members of the Senate and the House of Representatives led by Senator Aquilino Pimentel Jr. This however was later not pushed through due to President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo personally backing the proposal. Later on, allies of President Arroyo successfully passed House Resolution 1109 on June 2, 2009 by Viva Voce in a move to shift the government from the current presidential to parliamentary. All amendments would have needed the approval of three-fourths approval of Congress. The resolution was later shelved by the Senate as it has objected it being passed and due to public outcry towards it. Sessions First regular session, July 23, 2007 to June 13, 2008. Second regular session, July 28, 2008 to June 5, 2009. Third regular session, July 27, 2009 to June 2010. First joint session, December 9 to 14, 2009. Second Joint Session, May 24 to June 9, 2010. Legislation Laws passed by the 14th Congress Leadership Senate President of the Senate Emmanuel VR, Nationalista Juan Ponce and Real, PMP, elected on November 17, 2008, Senate President Pro Tempore Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, PMP, Majority Floor Leader Juan Miguel F. Zabiri, Lacas Campi CMD, Minority Floor Leader Aquilino Q. Pimentel Jr., PDP Laban. House of Representatives Speaker of the House of Representatives Jose C. de Venecia Jr., Lacas CMD, 4th District Pangasinan. Prospero C. Negrales, Lacas Campi CMD, 1st District Davao City, elected on February 5, 2008 Deputy Speaker Sluzan. Arnulfo P. Fuentevela, NPC, 3rd District Camarines Sur, Central Luzon. Eric D. Singson, Lacas Campi CMD, 2nd District Ilocos Sur, Visayas Raul V. Del Mar, Bo P. K., Liberal, 1st District Cebu City, Central Visayas Pablo P. Garcia, 1 Cebu, Lacas Campi CMD, 2nd District Cebu, Mindanao Simeon A. Datamanong, Lacas Campi CMD, 2nd District Maguindano, Women Ma. 
Amelita C. Villarosa, Lacas Campi CMD, Lone District Occidental Mindoro, Majority Floor Leader Arthur D. Defensor Sr., Lacas Campi CMD, 3rd District Iloilo, Minority Floor Leader Ronaldo B. Zamora, Nationalista, Lone District San Juan City. Members Composition Senate House of Representatives The term of office of the House of Representatives is from June 30, 2007 to June 30, 2010. District Representative the term of office of the current members of the House of Representatives will be from June 30, 2007 to June 30, 2010. See also Congress of the Philippines Senate of the Philippines House of Representatives of the Philippines Notes Further reading Philippine House of Representatives Congressional Library Corazon L. Paris, 2000. The Presidents of the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines. Quezon City, Giraffe Books. ISBN 971-8832-24-6. References External links List of Senators. Senate of the Philippines. Archived from the original on 14 September 2006. Retrieved 16 September 2006. The Lawfill Project, Philippine Laws and Jurisprudence Databank. Arellano Law Foundation. Archived from the original on 1 September 2006. Retrieved 16 September 2006. House of Representatives of the Philippines Philippine Senate